Alright, it's Chef Buck here. Today we got a delicioso cauliflower salad. Kind of a faux potato salad. We don't need no stinking potatoes. No! So we're gonna go on a picnic today. And of course for a picnic you want to have some potato salad. What? But we have cauliflower. Big beautiful brainy head of cauliflower. So we're gonna make faux potato salad with cauliflower. Some cauliflower salad. Just like potato salad. But uh, gives you muscles. We're just gonna chop this up, separate it into florets, and then cut the uh, insides up into some smaller pieces. We'll just break our cauliflower down. So we're gonna chop our stems up into some smaller pieces. And then just break off our uh, florets into some tinier florets. It's just easier to break the cauliflower down into smaller pieces before you steam it. We got our cauliflower broken down, and I'm gonna use a steaming basket. You know, if you got one of these, just put a little bit of water in your pot and then you can steam anything you like in there. If you don't have one of these, then you can just put your uh, cauliflower on top of a little bit of water and steam it. It'll do the same thing. It's just easier to get it out uh, afterwards with a steaming basket. So we'll just pile our uh, cauliflower in here and I got lots of it. And if it's too much cauliflower, you can just lay your hand over it like this and then put your elbow on there. This is the old wrestling move. <laughs> Uh, I learned that watching uh, TV in the 1970s. I think that's a Dusty Rhodes move. Wow. The atomic elbow kind of updated it and turned it into a cauliflower elbow. Seriously? The other top doesn't seal on there. This will work. Trust, trust that doesn't boyfriend. seal? It just needs to keep enough steam in there to steam it, semi-steam it, semi-cook it. Because we don't want it to be too soft. No. Mm, because soft cauliflower will not work for fake potato salad. Your cauliflower has to have enough oomph, enough crunch. It has to have a little bit of backbone. So you don't want to break the spirit of your cauliflower. Then why'd I mean, you give it the atomic you just, elbow? You just want to show it who's boss, oh. but still have the cauliflower, leave it with enough self-respect that it won't become bitter when you eat it. All right, so now I'm just gonna steam my cauliflower. Make it the sauce. We're gonna make it a sauce. So let's get a little bowl. Boom, we got some eggs. And I'm gonna use four boiled eggs. Use as many eggs as you like. You know, I'm just using four. You know, I think I would like to use six. What? For this much cauliflower. But Camera Girl doesn't like boiled eggs in her potato salad, so I'm just using four because I'm a, I'm a good boyfriend. <laughs> you know? But we're gonna take our yolks out of the eggs. What? And I uh, use that as part of the sauce. I say sauce, but it's more like a dressing. Now look how beautiful that is. You know, you want some nice yellow yolks. To get these perfect yellow yolks, you know, you want to boil your eggs like this. Just get a pot of cold water, put your eggs in there, and then let it come up to a boil. So once your eggs come to a boil, we'll go ahead and turn the heat off. We'll get them off the burner, and we're just going to let them sit. Boom. For about 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes, 12 minutes tops. And then they will be magically, perfectly boiled. Yay! It's not really magic though. Alrighty, so after 10 minutes, just uh, bring your eggs over to the sink. Boom. Now just run some cold water on them. Even throw some ice cubes in there. That will help the egg contract inside the shell and it'll make it a lot easier to peel. So we'll let these sit in here for a few minutes and then we'll peel them. And I like to peel my eggs in the water. Just makes the shell come off a lot easier. Dun, dun, dun. Boom. So there we have it, there's our eggs. I used to always put a, a little bit of salt and some vinegar in the water when I boiled them. But I found that the two best things to do to boil eggs and make them easier to peel is use very old eggs, the oldest eggs that you have in the fridge, because the older the eggs are, the more it shrinks inside away from the shell. And then after you boil them, you know, putting some cold water directly on them right out of the hot water. That also causes shrinkage, which normally you don't want, <laughs> but for peeling eggs, it helps. My pot's making some noise because it's steaming. But that's okay. We can live with that noise. we get our yolks out of here. Dun, 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 dun. And our whites, we'll just chop our whites up. Just give them a rough chop, and this is going to go in our, uh, our cauliflower salad. I'm going to throw in a couple of spoonfuls of mayonnaise. 
I'm gonna throw a little bit of mustard in here. I just got some fancy uh, mustard mm. seeds. Just a smidgen. That's fancy. And I'm gonna put in some pickle relish, which you don't have to use. You know, one thing that I like to use a little bit of is uh, some jalapeno. You know, chop up some jalapeno, pickle the jalapenos, and a little bit of jalapeno juice. But we're already having this with spicy food, so I'm not gonna make it overly spicy. But man, this here makes great cauliflower salad. A little creamy horseradish. You know, that's a really nice bite. You know, this is optional. You know, put as much in there as you like. We're just gonna mash it up, make it nice and smooth. Mix it together. And as far as seasoning goes, I'm just gonna put in a little salt and pepper. That's it. Don't need nothing else. You know, once we once we get this all together, you could top it with a little paprika if you want, just for some color. Alright, let me check on this cauliflower. I can live with that. So now usually I would reach in and I'd grab it by my little steamer thing and pick it up. But you, I got too much in here. You stuffed it. I don't know what to do. Uh, all right, so I'm just gonna pour the little bit of water in there I have off. And now we'll just set it over here. We don't have to wait for it to uh, get cold, but we do want it to cool down. So we're gonna leave it alone and uh, you know, let the anger subside. Come on, cool down. All right, so I got me a big old bowl and there's my cauliflower. It's cooled down. You know, you could steam this, make it as soft as you like. You don't want to over steam this so that it becomes mushy when you stir it up with these other ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and throw my egg whites in here. These eggs give the dish a, a nice flavor, but it makes it creamier too. Especially, you know, putting the, putting the yolks in the sauce really helps to creamy it up. Now I'm going to put some celery in here because celery adds a, a really nice crunch. So if you oversteam your cauliflower and make it a little too soft, the celery will help save it. Same thing with some red pepper. Plus it adds a nice color. I love the look of the red pepper in here. So we'll put our uh, sauce on here. We'll put our dressing. And this seems like a lot of dressing, but I got so much cauliflower and other ingredients here. I'm gonna need a lot of dressing. But if you like it with more dressing, you could definitely make more. Mmm, smell the horseradish. You know, having the red in here is a nice accent color and having green in here would be nice too. The, the celery doesn't quite do it. So I'm going to throw a little bit of parsley in here. What do you think, camera girl? Anything else we want to go in here? My stomach is growling. It says it's good to go. Alrighty. And that's all there is to this recipe. You know, you can adjust the seasoning, add a little bit more salt and pepper if you like. Uh, but this is just has a nice flavor that, uh, that little bit of creamy horseradish. Man, if you haven't tried that in potato salad or in this uh, cauliflower salad, definitely give it a go. But this is a great substitute for potato salad. You know, and if you stand back and squint, it looks exactly like potato salad. That's all there is to it. You know, if you want to give this recipe a try, go to myfoodchannel.com. You can print all our recipes there. You know, I'll have it written down below. You know, you see some links down there. Click on the linky links. Thanks for watching. Uh, thumbs up, all that jazz, and we'll see you in the future.